It's American stores tomorrow and it's making a lot of noise. There's an international outcry against it. Manhunt 2 is so violent, it's been banned in Britain. In fact, you may not want your kids to see the preview of this game in Daniel Seberg's Eye on Technology. Just in time for Halloween comes one of the scariest video games ever seen. The objective? A mental patient tries to escape from a bizarre insane asylum using everything from a sickle to rip out a character's skull to a club to attack a police officer. I'm going to lure them into the open and then chop them up. Yep. As Scott Steinberg, a video game reviewer and author, demonstrated for us, the experience is even more intense using Nintendo's Wii game console, which gets players to act out the violence. So the Wii has motion sensing controls, and therefore to stab, you're going to mimic a stabbing motion. To swing a sledgehammer or a shovel, you would do the same. Uh, unfortunately, it's probably not something that you would want your kids to get a lot of practice on. And that has parents groups outraged, worried it will be played by teens and younger children. It is some of the most horrific, senselessly violent stuff you've ever seen. We invited Dr. Chris Lucas, a child psychiatrist, to watch the game in action. Is there a cause for worry if parents... Uh, you know, I think we don't know at the moment, but um, I think that this is the sort of game that's most likely to have an effect, uh, games that actually have the, the players act out the things in a physical way are more likely to have one. Researchers have not found a direct scientific link between playing violent video games and carrying out those acts in real life. But some studies have shown children who play certain video games become more aggressive and could become desensitized to violence. The Entertainment Software Rating Board has rated Manhunt 2 M for mature, meaning no one under 17 should be allowed to play or buy it. Manhunt 2 is made by the same company, Rockstar Games, that created the controversial and popular Grand Theft Auto titles. Trying to get laid out! What surprised many industry watchers is that Nintendo, maker of the Wii, has allowed Manhunt 2 to be played on its system. Nintendo has been known for its kid-friendly games, but now it will have an edgier reputation that may be good for business. In a statement, Nintendo told CBS News, just as with movies, television, and books, different video games appeal to and are appropriate for different audiences. We took Manhunt 2 to a local gaming center and let three 20-somethings get their hands on it. They enjoyed playing, but even these hardcore gamers recoiled at the violent imagery. The game just looks like they made it like this just to make it controversial, mm -hmm. just to bring something up. Because there's really no reason for the amount of violence, the level of violence that was in the game. This definitely takes the cake as probably the most violent thing I've played. <laughs> By the way, we should point out it's not just Nintendo selling this game. Sony has it as well on its PlayStation 2 console, Katie. And as you mentioned, Daniel, it's rated M, so it's not for anyone under the age of 17. But kids can often get their hands on things like this. There are things parents can do, though, right? Absolutely. Every video game console allows parents to set their own preferences based on the video game rating. So, for example, if you want to say only games that are rated E for everyone on this console can be played, or teen, or you can say no mature games at all can be played on this particular console. And if you have the game, you can also have a special pen so only you can play it and no one else. Exactly. So you can stop your kids from messing around with those settings. You set up a security password, but this is just a tool. Parents still have to get involved with what their kids are doing. And why anyone would want to play that creepy, disturbing game is beyond me. But that's what Some makes Some gamers out there. Yeah. All right, Daniel, thanks so much. Right. Coming up next.